What do I need? A lot of things. Hi, Sizzrin here with another video and I wanted to do a quick talk about how I'm farming multiple things at the same time. Very often when people ask about things like streamer RNG etc, the quick defense people use is well streamers just play a lot. That's not necessarily the main reason. For example, when me and Steel did a duo found softcore run, we killed all the ubers on softcore in 16 hours. And that's not necessarily a crazy time to play. And obviously a new player is not going to kill all, all seven Ubers in seven, uh, 16 hours. So with that in mind, it's very important to realize what makes such a big difference. And that is the fact that we have multiple goals at the same time. A big problem when you're a new player is, well, first off, if you're very new, you might not even know what to farm for at all. You might just be playing the game. Oh, the horror. You don't really know what's out there. So you're just mapping for the sake of mapping. Maybe you have some initial goals and I think I'll make a quick video soon about goals for new players and how to achieve them. But when you're a new player, you are just playing the game. Even if you're playing a lot of hours, you aren't necessarily target farming anything. And when you are a little bit more advanced, you are maybe you are, let's say, farming a taste of hate and you know how to farm that. But maybe that's the only thing you're farming. So I wanted to make a quick video about how many things I'm farming at the same time. So I made a quick list of things I'm working on right now. So I really need essences, right? That's one of the things I need first. So first off, I have all of the essence nodes, especially this one is pretty rippy. So because of that, I'm farming in low tier maps. I think the game is in a pretty good state right now where, well, at least on essence of hardcore, there's a very clear reason to spam farm low tier maps or a very clear reason to spam farm high tier maps. A big penalty of low tier maps is you don't get the altars, but low tier maps you can, for example, run crazy magic find gear. So I'm running essences and then I'm paying three chaos per map to have three additional essences. I think the most essences I got in one map was something like 30, 35 shrieking essences. Because on top of getting four or more essences, I also have crystal resonance. So if they're shrieking or higher from this node, they will double. So, for example, one node could have eight Shrieking Essences, and that adds up really, really quick. Then later in the late game stuff, I'll end up farming Harvest and get Blue Essence to swap them around to the Essences I want, getting a lot of Greeds and stuff. I've just started Essence farming, so I don't have a lot right now. But what else am I farming at the same time? Obviously, I mentioned that I'm farming Essences, and then there's no difference in essences in tier 1 or tier 16. If you're in tier 16, you're not going to find more essences. You're not going to find higher tier essences, but they are going to kill you more, which is very scary on hardcore because the essences will buff the monster it's in. So if you have eight shrieking and a few deafening essences in one monster, that's like very, very deadly. And especially if you want to combine this with magic fine. So that's the main reason I'm doing low tier maps. And it's so fast in low tier maps because I can just zoom through the map. What well, like a, a fully invested in tier 16 could take me like two or three minutes to clear. Whereas a uh, tier four map could take me as little as like 30 seconds to just run in and kill the essences. This is a very good way for me to just burst that down and get a lot of it. Now, I'm also doing magic find and this is going to give me currency and uniques. And, and that currency will help me keep up with that three chaos cost per map. There are a lot of uniques I would like, like I would like another fourth vow. I would like another taste of hate, probably a lot more too, like squire. I can't really find mage blood and headhunter. That's a little sad. I would love to be able to be strong enough to do tier eight maps, but less than 4k life is a little bit sketchy. Now, next up, I'm making sure that I pick a map that's good. So yeah, cemetery because divine card, exalted orb card and lightning orb card. It's also got a really, really good layout for Legion. So I'll be farming Legion as well. And even with legions, there are things that are like advanced players or medium players might not know. And that is there's a purple beam that shoots out of the legion monolith in the middle, indicating where the boss is and that there is one. So small things like that as well can help improve your gameplay a lot. And since I'm farming lower tier maps, I'm going through maps very, very, very quickly. And because of that, I have intelligence gathering. So every time I complete a map, I'm like making progress towards the safe houses so I can spam farm Katarina's because the diadem, you can actually get it at any level still, but it is very rare now. So doing that very quickly is what I need. 
I really need incursion as well. And obviously that's another thing I achieved by spam farming maps. For a long time, I had the nodes that I would have an additional chance to get Alva. I can't actually afford to have any of those right now because I need so many other things. But I am still getting other missions, just not as many as I would like, and that's for Vial of Domination for Slave Driver's Hands. And I'm also getting double corrupts and the double gem corrupts by getting a lot of these. Uh, next up, I have all the heist nodes. That's because I need a lot of the alternative quality heist gems. So I'm looking for a tunnel and repository blueprints. So I have all of these and I have all of these. I might get rid of them at some point soon because I am starting to get a lot of the gems I need. You can see that I have all the Legion nodes for like emblematic, etc. And that will make that the Legion emblems will drop completely. Like I'll, I'll just get straight up Legion emblems. So they're starting to add up right now. But there are other layouts and stuff that could be really good. Like what if I need gold oils? I have 10 gold oils on SSF. How do I get that? And how do I have so many blind maps? Well, there's actually something you can do that's really, really good. And that's if you are running all of these things. Like this is especially good when you also need taste of hate cards. Uh, because the core map, uh, you can actually horizon any tier 15 into a core map. And core is particularly good when you're farming with Blight. Because it's such a cramped map. And Blight fairly recently changed. I honestly, I think it's a few years ago. But either way, the most recent change they did to Blight was that each Blight in a map will have at least one Blight reward. Uh, and that's the one that gives you oils and gives you Blight maps. And the reason this is so good is because Core is such a cramped map that while if you're in a cemetery or in a dunes, all the lanes are going to spread out. And you'll get, for example, one lane with a weapon reward, one lane with an armor reward, and, and three other lanes with essences. Whereas if you're in a Core, what you'll notice will end up happening is very often, not always, but you'll get six or eight. Actually, the most I had now was 11. 11 rewards. And if there's only one lane with rewards, that'll always be blight rewards. Like you won't have in one lane that three of them are blight rewards and six of them are something else. So that makes blight incredibly good with this. I had all of the blight nodes except for it's these. I had everything except these. So everything else that highlights 30 gilded blight scarabs. And uh, well, you can see I had this entire tab is full. And I actually didn't know what happened to blight maps after your tub is full. They just start going into your normal. So I think I have like a normal temple here with, uh, with blight maps in them. And I, I didn't actually know that was a thing. So they, they just started going in here. Gold oils are actually really, really profitable on softcore. So if you're farming for a taste of hay, you would put in div card scarabs, you'd put in some density, and you can put in blight. And then you're now farming for multiple things at the same time. Now, I mostly got nearly all the gold oils from extractors. They basically target a piece of jewelry with an anoint and it'll destroy it and extract an oil. So every boss you kill in Blight will have a chance to drop, well, with the nodes, it'll have a chance to drop um, a ring or an amulet that has an anoint on it. So that was really, really cool. It stockpiled really fast. And now I'm just doing my Blight maps like, while watching movies and stuff off stream. And then now, while I'm magic finding cemetery, obviously beasts have a big bonus to quantity and rarity, similar to like most special monsters. Um, so I'm farming best here at the same time. I have all the nodes. And that I'll probably be using most of my bad scarabs in low maps, and then I'll save any high scarabs for high maps. The most important beasts for me are monsters that I don't care about being in high maps anyway. Like for example, Fenimus is in 75 maps or higher. And uh, Farrell is in 80 maps or higher, tier 13. But I don't really care about either of those. And I mostly need the split base and I need the Krake Chimera for uh, imprint. So I can just spam this in low tier maps, go through them really fast. And this is also not a big risk to my character. And there's nothing that my magic fine character, if you want to look at the gear, it says we're in Pow Pow and my profile. There's nothing here that I care about losing either. So people are like, oh, are you worried about dying? And I'm like, well, yeah, I'll, I'll most likely die on this character. Like I have 4K life mapping very fast on hardcore. Um, but I do have suppression. I do have some armor innovation. So, you know, I might survive, but I'm not like banking on it. So as long as I get three or four days out of magic finding and doing a lot of the missions and making progress for other characters on my character, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, I wanted to make a video about how I end up having multiple goals and why, and how that is part of why we end up progressing so much faster often as streamers. 
because it's probably very rare that you're going to tune into a competitive streamer, like somebody that does do races and stuff, and they're just mapping. And honestly, it's not necessary to do it. I just wanted to explain a little bit. And I think I'm going to try to make a video soon, which is going to be goals for new players and how to achieve them. Like a few simple things like Eater or Exarch and maybe make a few videos. So like here are some beginner goals, advanced goals, etc. But either way, let me know what you think in the comments below. Did you like this video? Thank you guys so much for all the support. Happy if you liked the video, but more importantly, try to die less than I do.